and uh, we'll get this out to the range and do some test firing. Alright, the Honor Guard by Honor Defense, a gun I waited a long time to get a chance to shoot. As you saw in the unboxing, feature packed with a lot of the things that people usually have to pay extra uh, to have done to their guns, especially on the single stack 9s like this. That being said, there are some things that uh, were a little off for me. The, the slim profile with the slide release being tucked in there, I can't get it with my thumb. I have to do the overhand rack method which some people prefer, but it's not what I prefer. Another concern for larger hands is the ambidextrous magazine release pushes through, which means that my middle finger on the right side of the gun is preventing that release from coming out. But with that said, very accurate shooter, very smooth shooter, and uh, great stippling job. Uh, overall, for, for out of the box, a lot of options, a lot of upgrades. So Back from some trigger time with the Honor Guard by Honor Defense. This gun really does offer a lot out of the box. This is a very well thought out gun, offering a lot of the features that you might not appreciate or understand unless you're someone who's shot before. In fact, I'd almost say this gun is more fitting as your second carry gun. After you've got some time learning, you've, you've cut your teeth on something simpler like maybe a shield. Uh, and a lot of people compare this to a shield because of its size and shape. But uh, And the shield is an excellent gun, however, they are not the same. Uh, this has a lot of features, things like, take for example, the, the two spring, recoil spring with the front spring not being captured. Now a beginner might look at this and complain, whereas an experienced shooter might look at this and say, hey, I can replace that spring easily when it wears out, or if I change to a heavier or lighter load and I have cycling issues, I should be able to change this out with a different spring. Uh, the fact that this is cut to be flat to allow everything to sit a little bit lower and keep the gun a little bit shorter. There's you know, the um, slide release being tucked in in a non-snag way. Yes, it slows down uh, Folks like myself that use the old old school slide release instead of a slide lock, uh, you got to do the slingshot, but that does make for a slimmer, lower profile, less likely to snag gun. This is just um, a lot of thought went into the Honor Guard. I'm I'm really impressed with it. I'm hoping we can hold on to it for some long term evaluations and and test it out with different options that are uh, out there now or on the horizon. So I encourage you to uh, not compare this with uh, a shield or a, a budget single stack. Uh, think of it more like uh, with 1911s. You know, you can buy a very basic GI 1911 for around $500. You can also buy a nicer 1911 for a couple hundred dollars more that has a lot of little features on it that, uh, sure, they look cool, but uh, to actually use them and appreciate them you're probably going to have to have spent a lot of time with it behind the trigger uh, learning to understand the gun. The channel here for the striker is not plastic. See that? There's a metal insert. A lot of engineering touches in this that you don't get in a cheaper gun. I'm impressed. Hopefully you are too. We'll see if we can hold on to this and get some more shots through it. Thanks for watching GB Guns, and if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe, the link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched, or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.